Is it time for a new job in the new year? Joining us for this week's Smith Business Close-Up is Jeff Kudish, Assistant Dean of Corporate Relations and Managing Director of the Office of Career Services at the University of Maryland's Robert H. Smith School of Business. Dr. Kudish, thank you for being with us. Thank you, Jeff, and Happy New Year to you. It is New Year's resolutions time, so let's talk about career resolutions. Where, where do you begin? I think resolution number one and two, from a career perspective, be realistic and be strategic. So really, before you I mean, set up, what are, the, what are the companies you're going for, the top companies? But let's also plan B. Let's think about maybe the next level down. And then also realize that uh, a great job search starts with a lot of preparation, a lot of strategy, a lot of investigating. What, what goes into it? What, what are the factors? Certainly you can get lucky, but, but in a, an organized career search, job search, what do you need to remember? So I think what you need to remember, a couple things. First, um, you got to think about your brand before you get going. So I, I like to talk about discover. Discover who you are. What are your brand? What are your interests? What are your strengths? What are your derailers? And, and how do you convey those to an organization? What's a derailer? So those are things that, you know, when a strength becomes a weakness, so people that are too confident can become arrogant or uh, too much, uh, I guess, emotions can be melodramatic. So watching those, being careful with those during the, the career search process. Where, where do you see people making mistakes in this process? So a lot of mistakes, unfortunately. So number one is not spending enough time doing preparation. And everybody thinks that because they have a wonderful resume and a wonderful cover letter, that's it. And that gets you into the game. But the bottom line is you have to be able to perform at the top of your game once you get there. I see too many people that communication skills take them down very quickly. Uh, their ideas of where they're going aren't realistic. We see things like not reaching out to their networks. It's amazing how many people don't use LinkedIn or Facebook or Twitter to really think about who is it that they're connecting with, you know, where's that hidden job market out there as opposed to just what's posted online or in the newspaper. Let's, let's focus on the communication skills a little okay. bit because you've coached a lot of students and you've, and you've witnessed a lot of interviews. Can can somebody who walks in thinking, I'm, I'm not really good at this, um, get comfortable enough to, to perform at a, at a level that, that, that nobody feels that, hey, this person wasn't comfortable? You know, I think they can. We, we talk about the skills that are coachable and developable, and, and clearly communication skills are part of that. But it takes, as you know, a lot of practice, a lot of feedback, and a lot more practice. So things like getting involved at Toastmasters. We're getting involved like this, getting feedback from others, videotaping yourself these days. But very, very important that you can be calm and poised and deliver your message in a way that sells. Have you seen some of these lists online of the crazy questions that get asked in job interviews, particularly by tech companies, uh, just off the wall because they want to see if the person can think on their feet? Is it possible to, possible to prepare for that at all? You know, it's really hard, Jeff, uh, and there's companies like Google, by the way, that used to do that, and they've since changed their strategy now. They've decided that those questions weren't really predictive of job performance. It drove people nuts. It allowed them to think about their thinking skills, but it's really hard. There are books out there. Uh, I think what you can do is go online. There are resources like Glassdoor and other places where you can learn what companies, the kind of questions that companies are asking, and there are books about that. Um, and, and I'd say turn it around as well. You know, to be successful in your job, I tell folks, you know, interviewing skills are so important. You've got to interview like a talk show host or, or, you know, the kind of questions, understand what people want. So maybe turning around, too, and think about not just can I respond to questions, but how can I ask those great questions? Well, that's important. We, we may have talked about this before, but one, one piece of advice you see a lot is that there's a correlation between how much talking the interviewer does and, and their perception of the interviewee. So if, if I'm interviewing you and I talk a lot, which I never do, I, I tend to think more highly of, of the person I'm talking to. I think it's exactly what we preach. You want to spend more time, it should be a conversation um, and not just a, a soliloquy or, or you kind of advocating for yourself. You want to really listen to learn and ask questions. All right, finally, at the beginning of a year, uh, all the energy with the New Year's resolution to go take a, a career step. What's a realistic goal? How, how long should somebody give that process? Uh, and, and when do you settle for something that comes along that might be a nice step but isn't that 
giant leap that you're hoping for? Right. So that's a tough question. There's a lot there. Um, you know, how much time do you do? Uh, you know, I want to say there's no right or wrong amount of time. You got to keep doing it until you get there. Uh, and what we like to say is that persistence, resilience, um, patience, adaptability are going to be really important. Probably four to six hours a day spending, getting out there, learning what we call your career ecosystem. Learn about companies. Identify five to ten companies you want to work for. And then who are their suppliers? Who are their vendors? Who are alumni or friends that work there? So doing your homework. That, that's, that takes a lot of time to do that. And then back to, again, prepping with what are the kind of questions that I'm going to ask. Get online. Look at LinkedIn. Uh, and, and somebody once gave me some great advice or to my students I love, which is when you're connecting with new people to learn about jobs like that, don't ask for jobs. People that ask for jobs get advice. People that ask for advice get jobs. So really set yourself up for that long haul and be resilient and you should do great things. That is a great line. Jeff Kudish from the Robert H. Smith School of Business, thank you for being here. Thanks, Jeff, and Happy New Year again. <laughs> to you too.